How are you feeling? Good, all right? Come yeah. out of game last night? I know you got yeah, like, knocked up a little bit. How, how, uh, how physical was that game, and is it going to be tough to regroup? Uh, it was pretty physical. Um, uh, that's part of the game. I think we all play games like that. And uh, just got to move on and get ready to play another physical one tomorrow. So. Yeah, it's a unique format with the... Uh, you basically have two to win one, but do you go with that attitude? Uh, actually, we're, we're kind of ready to go in and get one and get out of there, so uh, hopefully we can do that. Uh, we're just going to focus on this next one, see if we can get it done, and uh, move on from What has been the key to starting off so quickly at each half? I think we've just been coming out ready to play. I'm super focused on what we want to get done, uh, following the game plan, uh, what Coach Matt wants us to do, and uh, going out there and trying to build the first match. So. How do you bottle that to try to carry it over to the rest of the team? Uh, obviously, just got to keep focused on uh, the things that we started that got us there and uh, keep executing our offense and getting stops on defensive end. And then the other uh, key and keeping us uh, doing the same things we've done to keep our first half leads. Yeah, um, they've got a goofy floor. Yeah. Have you seen it? I've seen it uh, watching the on TV. Uh, it kind of looks a little weird, so I'm interested to see how it looks in person. Uh, but I mean, it's a basketball floor, so eventually you'll get used to it. But I mean, uh, the lines and stuff are a little different. So I have a little, little struggle with that at first, but it should be all right. Yeah, they're supposed to be some kind of forest or something. Yeah, it should be all right, though. Uh, what, what did they do well that you have to stop uh, in game two? Uh, obviously, we got to get some stops on defense, and I thought the guards were pretty quick. I into the lane pretty easy. Uh, we, we can contain that. Uh, I basically handled their press like we did uh, last night. We should be fine. Jonathan Lloyd is denying you the ball, especially in the game. How tough of a defender is he, and how much of a concern is he for you? Uh, he's definitely super quick, um, but I think uh, we have size advantage on him. Um, I've seen a lot of our guards, and I thought I'd have size advantage. We got size advantage on him. So I think uh, we just need to use our size and expect that it's going to be physical. Uh, hopefully, Doug doesn't knock me out again, so I'll be okay. So, so it'll be okay, but. Uh, Obviously, it's not not really a concern. We know it's going to be a physical game. They know it's going to be a physical game. Sure. I'm unconscious when it comes to just shooting wide open shots, you know. But uh, I think we was in a situation where uh, they was pressing us in the press, and uh, I was just wide open. You know, I could have held it, held it back, but I was confident in myself. So mm -hmm. you just got to show people better than you can tell them. So you let it fly. Did you hear any groans from the crowd? Yeah, yeah. I, heard, I did. I heard. I kind of heard um, some of my teammates say, "No, no, no, yes." You know, just for the fact that I that I made it. But I mean, honestly, um, my teammates and my coaches got a lot of confidence in me shooting the ball so it's just for the you know, I think the only worry was the time and the score you know yeah. so I mean I was wide open but I, I was confident in myself and you still take it tomorrow I will I'll take it tomorrow if I could again <laughs> <laughs> if I could again I'll take it tomorrow that's yeah great. I mean, but, yeah I was gonna say that's what shooters do they yeah shoot I mean I just think that's just the type of player I am you know I, I, I like to be in that situation taking big shots and uh, just putting myself in a uh, predicament to be trusted you know and if I wasn't trusted before Hopefully, I'm trusted now after that shot. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Hey, uh, does it give you guys any more extra gratification knowing that you guys beat Dana, or is it just a win, or, or maybe beat them in the championship series? Does that give you extra, extra, any extra um, moves there? Yeah, it, it could in a sense. Um, I mean, just for the fact that he was our old coach. So, I mean, anytime anybody that was a part of your, you know, family program, whatever you want to call it, leaves. You know, it, it is a good deal to try to try to outdo them and show them that what they left was a good thing, you know. But despite his own circumstances of leaving, was totally business, so it's not anything personal. But, I mean, for our seniors, though, it's, it's big for them. Who ever thinks that our seniors' last game would be against Coach Altman in Oregon? Yeah, that'd be so. great. What about that floor out there? Oh, man, uh, I I really think it's going to be hard to see on that. I can, I can only imagine how he jokes about it being down there, you know. Yeah. But um, it's be, it'll be a cool experience. I'm looking forward to the whole deal. Yeah, it seems like it's the anti-Dana floor, though. Yeah, know, yeah, I know. He, yeah, he's more of a generic playing person. <laughs> so I can see him right now looking at it, nah, you know, shaking his head and all that type of stuff. But I'm looking forward to it, though. Hopefully, we can get it done Wednesday. I'm not trying to be there until Friday. That's right. Yeah. Right. Cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate no it. Shoot, he yeah, was wide open. Was that a no-no yes one of them? That was definitely a no-no yeah. yes. But sometimes you got to let Josh Jones do what Josh Jones does. He plays without fear. Uh, a lot of those baskets that he made during the course of the game, um, 
weren't exactly rhythm shots. A lot of them were tough shots, but uh, you know, Josh has earned the right to take those because he's worked pretty hard here the last couple months. Yeah, yeah, I know you talked about it last night, but the impact Gregory has had and kind of him coming out party. Some people have been calling it. How, how good has he been uh, these last few? Months? Well, as well as he played offensively, he was he was a huge factor in the defense of the floor. Uh, you know, he controlled the paint and you know. The baskets that Catron got were facing the basket at 17 feet, which takes one of their best rebounders out of the paint. Uh, so I couldn't be more pleased with the way he's playing, playing with a level of intensity and toughness that uh, uh, that's that's really uh, it's hard to guard, and it's it's added a huge uh, huge benefit to our team. Is it um, going out there game two? You have two to win one, but you can't look at it that way, right? No, we've got one to win one. We, we don't want to get in a situation where it goes to Friday. Uh, so uh, we're going to throw the kitchen sink at them tomorrow night, uh, and I'm sure we're going to see the same from them. But it's, we're going to have to play better defensively if we expect to win. And, uh, uh, you know, when we get the basketball inside, good things have happened for us, and, and that'll have to be the case again tomorrow night. And you guys have had terrific starts coming out of games, out of the break. I'm just saying that's good coaching. That's what I'm going to call it. Yeah, it's the same coaching. Yeah. We were down 9 to nothing against San Jose and the same to Davidson. So, uh, you know, it's important to start the game well, and we certainly have done a much better job of that the last two games uh, compared to the first two games of the CBI where we were awful out of the games. But the guys have prepared this, prepared themselves to play. I think they've been comfortable with the plan that we've had going in, and they've been able to execute that plan pretty well. Hey, you know, Dana said it was awkward for him. Was it awkward for you at, at, any, at any level during these last couple days? Uh, you know, not really. My concern was our guys and their focus and if that would take away from their preparation for the for the game and I don't think they allowed that to happen and, uh, having been in Dana's shoes I, I know what he went through it's it's uh, it's just uncomfortable very uncomfortable to come back to a place that means so much to you and uh, I'm sure he's glad it's over thank you